This is a Klein bottle. This is Conway's game of life. I wanted to put one on the other. Why? Because as far as I can tell, it's never been done before. Also, it was a fun way to learn WebGPU. I think the result looks pretty cool. A Klein bottle is like a Mobius strip, but instead of starting with a flat strip and twisting it, you start with a tube, turn one end inside out, and connect it to the other end. Of course, this means the tube has to be able to magically pass through itself. Like a Mobius strip, a Klein bottle effectively only has one side. Conway's Game of Life isn't so much a game as an artificial universe with vastly simplified physical laws. The laws are, there's a two-dimensional grid where each square is called a cell. Each cell is either dead or alive. Each cell changes based on its eight neighboring cells according to these rules. The rules are applied simultaneously to every cell, and then you repeat. That's it. This results in an astonishing variety of patterns, which sometimes look alive. You can actually build a computer in life, which means you can do any computation that can be done. Life is meant to be played on an infinite flat grid where every cell has exactly eight different other cells that are its neighbors. Having eight neighbors is the important part. They don't actually have to be squares. Besides an infinite plane, it turns out that there are three other shapes that can be divided up into a grid that follows the eight neighbors rule. An infinitely long tube, a torus, aka donut, and a Klein bottle. Any other shape that can support a grid is topologically equivalent to one of these shapes. Remember, topology is the branch of math where a donut is equivalent to a coffee cup. That's the technical definition. You can look it up. Lots of people have rendered life on a torus, including me. But I couldn't find life on a Klein bottle anywhere. I did it mostly by piecing together things I found on the web, starting with this WebGPU demo of drawing solid objects with the edges highlighted. I simplified it quite a bit, since I only wanted to draw one object. And to run the life algorithm, I used the code from this WebGPU tutorial from the Google Chrome team. The cool thing about this is it runs life on your computer's GPU. The original version is equivalent to running on a torus because it wraps around at all the edges. I just had to modify it to reverse the order of the cells when it wraps around horizontally. The hardest part turned out to be actually drawing the Klein bottle. I asked Clog Code to generate the points for me, and it did this. It looks cool, but it's wrong. So I looked up parameterizations I could code myself. The easiest one is called the figure 8 immersion. It's technically a Klein bottle, but it doesn't look like a bottle. This is a little more like it, but I don't like the sharp corner in the wide part. This one is complicated, but looks graceful. Only problem is the thin part is too thin. I blindly played with the coefficients until I got this, which is what I used. The color scheme is not just for aesthetics. For my Taurus version, I made the inside and outside different colors so you could tell them apart. But on a Klein bottle, there's no separation between inside and outside. If you're an ant walking along the length of the tube, you'll end up on the opposite side of the surface. And then if you keep walking, you'll come back to the first side. In fact, the route you trace is actually a Mobius strip. So there's no one place where it makes sense to change the color. Instead, I made it gradually change, traversing the color wheel as you do a double circuit. That way, the opposite side of the surface is always the opposite color, but there are no seams. You can play with Klein Bottle Life on my website, and the code is on GitHub. Let me know if you do something cool with it. <laughs>